One photograph after another captures the excitement of professional hockey in Winnipeg. There's no shortage of iconic moments frozen in time by Jonathan Kozeb. I just love taking pictures and love playing hockey and watching hockey. Kozeb has been snapping pictures full time for True North since 2004, getting the game day action for both teams, the Winnipeg Jets and Manitoba Moose. I probably carry about five lenses on me. I've got a big belt I wear. And a helmet for when he's at his favorite spot, ice level between the players' benches. I love listening to the chirping. <laughs> The chirping between the two teams, that you can really feel the, the emotion in the game. Kozeb's shot of the Jets' first goal after the team's return to Winnipeg was made into a stamp. The image from the 2015 playoff game with Andre Pavlik in net is another one of Kozeb's favorites. He's just sitting in the crease hunched over and you've got all the white out behind him and they're waving the towels. That was just, I, I think, a shot that I'll never forget. To actually have that memory, like frozen that one image, it's really... Uh, you think about it, it still gives you goosebumps, you know? <laughs> the quest to capture the perfect shot takes Kozeb all over Bell MTS Place, up in the stands, right beside the glass, and up high in the catwalk. That's not for the, the faint hearted though. It's uh, the first time I ever went up there with a pole. But the view from up top is unparalleled. So you get some pretty amazing shots. Face-offs, goal celebrations are the best. When guys are skating by the bench, high-fiving, and you're looking straight down at them. There's more than 800 photos to choose from per game, plus many off-ice events in the community. And now, added height of the playoffs. So you've got two teams now in the playoffs at the same time. This has never happened. I'm pumped up now. This is, this is adrenaline for the rest of the playoffs, yeah, eh? I'll keep you going, eh? Yeah. A picture-perfect season for this shutterbug. Eva Kovacs, Global News.